Hey guys, welcome back. So same day, same location, as you can probably tell, I probably look the same. I just did another video on a, you know, one of those things that I don't mention on all my videos because if I want to keep monetization on some of my videos, can't mention those things. But I think you got to get an idea of uh, what I'm talking about. So make sure you check that video out. But today I'm going to be going over the Gerber. Uh, I believe this is the 23.5 inch ax. Um, basically it's like a little camping ax. Now, this is not right out of the box because I've only used this probably twice. Uh, last weekend, I went out on my camping trip and I also did a video on that too, but I didn't show me actually using this. And this was the first time I really put this thing to the test. I typically just keep it in the uh, trunk of my truck because out where I live, we get a lot of down trees in the winter time from storms and stuff like that. So if I'm driving to work in the morning, I come across a tree, I need to have a way to remove it to get to work. <laughs> now I do have my saw now I keep with me, so I'll probably use that instead. But um, cause I just got that recently, but I only had this, uh, for quite a while and I was very impressed with this rolls. I really put this thing through its paces. I had to cut a lot of wood. I had to cut a lot of green wood with a lot of knots in it. So, you know, it wasn't like just chop, chop, you know, it was somewhere pretty hard to break up, but these do come pretty sharp out of the box. I did get a couple of nicks on this one. So I did run it over my stone just to try and get it back to that factory edge, which was surprisingly easy I have a little tri stone and since the blade is not super big you know I was able to kind of get it on there and actually get it pretty sharp so I uh, was pretty impressed with that so I want to get some wood set up here and just kind of give you a real quick overview of um, how good it chops and cuts so you know we'll go ahead and get started so this is probably about the best size for this size axe probably nothing too much bigger than this here I hit a dead center, but as you can see, it's sharp. It skims it right off of there. So, yeah, it's pretty. That's really nice if you want to make kindling. That's a really nice. Too much closer with my fingers there without wearing gloves so i mean it's just a really nice nice size cap x i think that's really where this thing is going to excel for you let's see if i can kind of show you how sharp it is here i mean if you're wanting to make some small tinder you can use it for that. So, I mean, not what it's intended for, but it can be done. You know, I just like it. It just it chops really good, really easy. Great for making kindling and stuff like that like I said you're not going to be doing anything pretty much bigger than this I'm going to go ahead and split this though that's what I was splitting on and this is probably about 10 or 11 inches across I would say so no problem It's a great little camp axe. I wouldn't necessarily want to use it for anything super huge, but definitely does a job. All right, guys, so my final thoughts is it's hot as hell up here for one. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> uh, but is I think this is great for if you want to keep it in your car, your truck. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. And it's great for camping. It does those great small jobs. Like I said, you get you can actually use it to kind of feather a little bit. Probably not going to be the best. You still want to probably use a knife or something like that for if you want to do feathering. But it can can make some smaller tinder. Very sharp. Um, splits great. It's comfortable. I actually put some uh, grip tape on on here just for a little extra grip. Um, but yeah, you know I, I like Gerber stuff. I'm not. I don't have any connection with them, but. 
I do like some of their products. I do like this axe and it's uh, been really good, especially for the $50 range. You know, not too bad. You can spend quite, spend quite a bit on an axe, but I think for what you're getting, you know, it is what it is and it does its intended purpose, I think. And, you know, if you haven't got one, you might want to look at, they have a lot of other ones too. Um, this is actually probably, this is an older one. I've had this for, I don't know, three or four years. So there's a lot of different models out there now too. So, but just as like a basic, you know, little camp uh, one. They make one, I think it's a little bit shorter, like a 17 or something. Um, but I think this for me is the perfect, perfect length. So I can still, you know, get a little bit, some heave on it. If I do have to split something a little bit bigger and it, you can choke up on it too and do some of those smaller jobs as well. So um, yeah, really happy with it. Pretty impressed with it. You know, again, Gerber, they make pretty good quality stuff. So you know for, for what for what you're paying for it so anyways let me get let me know what you guys think uh like share subscribe hit that notification bell as always we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching